A lot of us must have come across the word or heard about the word BBO. Some may know about it, some may not know about it. So on today's video, I'll be sharing with you everything you need to know about BBO, the meaning, the procedure, and how late Krista Berry, the popular Portacourt influencer slash big girl, took her life. How her life was cut short as a result of BBL surgery. Brazilian butt lift, popularly known as BBO, is a popular cosmetic procedure that involves the transfer of fat to help create more fullness in your backside. Your surgeon then uses lip suction to remove fat from other areas of your body, that is the hips, the stomach and thighs, and then they make some incision in the skin and then use a tube to remove the fat from the body and then fix it to your bum bum. So in general term, it's just the removal of fat from other part of your body and infusing it into your bum bum to make it bigger, more attractive and uh, to make you look more beautiful, in quote. So what went wrong? Christabel wasn't actually the first person to have gone through this procedure, neither will she be the last person. So we asked what actually went wrong in the procedure. Because we all know that the procedure is actually, um, it doesn't really kill that much, if I'm to put it that way. But what actually went wrong? So, keep on watching to know how the surgery gone bad. It says that the Potter Court influencer, Krista Bear, has passed on. She died as a result of complication from a botch plastic surgery done here in Nigeria, Lagos State, in quote. A friend of hers, Miss Portia, confirmed her death and shed light on how she died from this botch surgery complications. She tweeted, you know, Twitter is a place where you just go around and then make your videos and what you want to say go viral. When she tweeted, she said, I want to bring this to the public. A friend, friend just died at this hospital in Lagos a few days ago, where she went, underwent surgery. Now, I'm not against anybody that wants to enhance their body or anything as such. It's your body, it's your life, and it's your choice. So do what you want to do. But I'm against doctors that claim to have experience abroad, come down to Nigeria to kill young people. After the surgery, she complained of bleeding, and the doctors claim it's normal, that it was going to stop, to show you that the doctor is a quack. If someone complains of internal bleeding, you are supposed to look into it. I know now, after surgery, bleeding is normal. But when bleeding becomes abnormal, it tends to rupture some things, and then which can lead to death. If he's really a skilled doctor and he really went abroad to practice, he should have checked her again to do the needful, checked her again over and over again. Because whenever a surgery is being done, bleeding is normal. But when the bleeding becomes irregular, then it becomes a problem. So when the late Christabel complained, she complained severally, and then nothing was being done before she gave up the ghost. Okay, when she died, definitely she must have signed a form, concessions form, that if anything happens to her, she takes full blame. The doctor in charge, or the hospital per se, was supposed to reach out to her family members. But they didn't reach out to her family members. They did the distasteful. They deposited her corpse in the morgue, and then kept much. Thank God for the power of social media, and thank God for friends, because... Before she went for the surgery, she actually reached out to some of her friends and told them about her whereabouts, that she'll be going for surgery and then she'll be out in some so and so so days and then after a while that she will, everything will be alright. But when her friends didn't hear from her, there is friends that look out for friends. For a while, they actually called a line, a line wasn't going and then they had to go to the hospital. When the hospital people management they were trying to cover up the story and after everything they brought out the letter they told that they told the friends that she is in the mortuary. What exactly happened? You may ask. I think the government need to come into the health system and check the capability of most surgeons and make their own research if they are really well trained surgeons to be able to operate on humans. If not, they should seize their license. I, the first thing the government should do about this is close down the hospital for now and then start probing on what led to her death because Christabel is not the first to have done surgery. Neither is she going to be the last. But to me, if you have that kind of money, why don't travel abroad? You go to Turkey, you go to India, 
you go to US. There are other places that do it. If you have that kind of money to spend in Nigeria hospital for surgery, why is it not better you just go abroad and do it? That is why a lot of celebrities go abroad to do theirs because it's less complicated. Nina did hers, I think, in Turkey, and she still looked good. I think those people place more precautionary measures than us here. As they just kill you like chicken and everything, just go. Money exchanges hand and then the hospital starts working. Okay, and you know the funny part of it? To show you that the doctors at the hospital know what they are doing. Sinosha Hospital, if I'm to put it that way, they have blocked all the comments because her friends were commenting and seeking justice. And the hospital have not released any letters on their page about her because they don't want the public to know. You know, it's business now. If they put it out, that means people will stop coming to the hospital and the hospital will definitely close down. So what do you guys think about this ugly incident? What do you guys think about BBO? What do you guys think about normal surgery, liposuction, and the rest of them? If you're against it, you can put it down in the comment section. If you are not against it, you can still put it down in the comment section. To me, but sometimes, but look at her picture. She's looking beautiful. Christabel, before her death, she was looking beautiful. She's had everything. So I wonder what she's looking for. Some might say that it's inferiority complex. Some might say it's low self-esteem. But I guess it's, you know, when you have too much money, you don't really know what to do with your money. You just go ahead and do it. But to me, I don't like surgery. I don't even like anything piercing my body, not to talk of even carrying out surgery. No matter the money I have, I may not do it. Yes. Okay, thank you very much for watching. And if you did enjoy this clip, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you've not yet done that. And also, notification bell if you've not done that. To get more interested and exciting video as they drop. Thank you very much.